All right. We are 19 days away from the big fight. Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia for the 140-pound WBC title. And Ryan Garcia makes a tacit admission about what's going on with them. What's going on with that? What's going on with that? I'm going to have a little fun in this video. I'm going to warn you. Don't take me too serious, but take me dead serious about what I'm saying. Where Ryan Garcia is now asking people to buy the tickets. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the channel. And we are going to be again, like I said, in the preamble 140 pound division where R Ryan Garcia did, does something slightly unusual. Now, not extremely unusual for Ryan Garcia. He's not saying that he's seeing pigs fly in the sky. There ain't no pink elephants, uh, ain't no pink, pink elephants in, uh, squatting in his living room. None of that. He puts on Twitter a picture, a, a flyer for the fight that says, buy the tickets. That, in my opinion, is something that is that is odd. As odd as many of the other things that you've seen him do, because you don't really see that a lot. You very rarely see a fighter put up a flyer and say, hey, buy the fight on his page. 20 days out for a fight. They're usually training, focused and all of that stuff. You may say, hey, man, they may stick an interview, you know, interview the guy to me and say, hey, man, make sure you buy the fight. But that's the job. Uh, I'm not saying it's unheard of. OK, don't so don't come to me saying, well, I know this guy did it. That guy did it. This guy did it. OK, don't. I'm, and it's not a bad thing. So don't please don't leave any comments or I, I'm probably not going to respond to him that about that. But when you when you when you listen to him say that if this fight was sold out like people claimed it was, if this fight was sold out, then he wouldn't have to do that. He wouldn't be telling you to buy the tickets because it would have already been sold out. The fight between Gervonta Davis and Ryan Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia, 19 days out from the fight, Ryan Garcia was not doing that because 19 days out from that fight, that fight was sold out. That fight was gone. Now, you had some retail sale tickets and all of that available, but that fight was gone. He's not doing that. They knew what their gate was going to be. Remember the whole thing. Now, unlike this, where if you go to StubHub and look, I only go, I go, I can go and find this on any website that I'm looking for. There are enormous amounts of tickets still available for this fight 19 days out. And you have, for example, you have just on StubHub, you had only, well, 50, between 50 and 60 tickets sold in the last week off StubHub. The prices, again, where this fight was listed has been cut in half. Now, the same seats that you were looking for when it went on sale for $500, you're now being able to buy for $200. And this is a whole week. I mean, this is a, not all, this is 19 days away from the date of the fight. Now, why is it significant at this point? Because as of right now, you are, you're three weeks out, the ticket prices to get there to New York City in three weeks, the ticket prices, and I'm talking about the airplane ticket prices, going through the roof. Your ticket, your hotel rooms, as of right now, moving forward, the, if you don't buy these tickets soon, you're going to have a very difficult time uh, getting a reasonably priced ticket uh, hotel in the New York metropolitan area. OK, you may have to be part. You may have to get a hotel in Newark and take the train in in order to be able to, you know, not get gouged in New York City. It's already going to get gouged in New York City as it is already expensive to get there, already expensive to to stay there. All oh, it's a great city, but expensive city. So we need you all to get out here and start buying these tickets because, you know, Fanon can be petty every now and then. I, I'll admit it. 
I'm a boxing fan. I do not call myself the media. Some people want to put me in that basket. I am not a journalist. I'm not engaged in journalism. I am just giving you my point. Just call it a react, a fan reaction channel. But I don't have videos right here. I'm just talking straight to you because we all know this is a very niche sport, niche sport, what we're talking about. We had a lot of bragging. We had a lot of boasting about this fight being so big and people being the face of boxing. And and they did. A, they sold out and San and they sold. Where did Ryan? Ryan didn't sell out in in Houston, Texas. Devin Haney sold out, but he really but actually wound up not selling out in uh, in uh what is that what's that city across from is it san diego not uh, not san francisco not san diego god dog man um <laughs> in the bay area san francisco bay yeah it is the san francisco uh set in in the bay area right he sold out in the bay, bay area but he didn't really sell out in the bay area they were gonna outsell and outdo the record that air that that um that Javante Davis set for the uh, set for the Barclays Center, all of the above, man. And it winds up that, man, it doesn't quite look like it's popping off that way. Now, what's really happening, though, is this that this is a disservice. All of that, in my opinion, is a disservice to Devin Haney. And it is a disservice to Ryan Garcia because they should not be held responsible for being something that they are not. But get credit for being what they are. I'm looking forward to this fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. I can't wait for it. I am buying the pay-per-view. Whatever pay-per-view numbers come out, it's one of the, I know they're going to get one for sure. And that's me because I'm looking forward to seeing the fight. I think the interaction between these two guys has been excellent. It's been keeping me engaged, right? Some of the stuff is a little bit nutty. Some of the other stuff is a little bit, you know, what can I say? Cringy. I don't like that word, but whatever, man. You know, you all understand what I mean. Cringy makes you cringe. Um, but at the same time, Devin Haney's a spectacular fighter. And I'm looking forward to, I think he's gonna beat Ryan Garcia. Uh, and when he beats Ryan Garcia, if and when he beats Ryan Garcia, um, I look forward to seeing him fight any of those guys, any of those guys at 140, whether it's Isak Cruz for the WBA or whether it is uh, Tiafimo Lopez for the WBO or Sabril Matias for the IBF, I'm looking forward to seeing Devin Haney fight one of those guys. And it doesn't matter which one. If he fights one, he's not ducking the other because he can't fight. Because eventually, if he fights, the, if he fights, say, for example, he fights Sabril Matias, he's not ducking. He's not ducking Tiafimo Lopez or, or Isak Cruz. Because why? Because he can't fight him at the same time. Right. Because he's going to have to fight those guys after that. And if he fights Isak Cruz, if he fights Isak Cruz, he's not ducking Sabro Matias. Uh, why? Because, you know, he you can't you can't put people in damned if you do damned if you don't type of situations and then act like you're being fair. If he does fight Sabro Matias, he's ducking somebody. If he fights the other guy, he's ducking somebody. If he fights the other guy, he's ducking somebody. So doesn't matter. You can he can fight any one of those three guys. Hopefully he'll go for undisputed. But if he doesn't, hey, man, he can go to 147 and do what he wants there. Terrific fighter. Terrific fighter. But y'all fans, you run your mouth too much. And you out here making a kid look bad. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. 